next video i will teach about directional derivative here it is suppose f is a scalar function of x y z x y and z f is function of x y z and it is a scalar function so del of f that i have already explained in previous video is a vector quantity is gradient of f or del of f is same it is a vector quantity it is written as del by del x i plus del by del y j plus del by del z k f suppose at at a particular point del of f is represented like this this is a vector quantity suppose you want to resolve this vector along this particular vector this is another vector suppose this is a vector p and you want to find out the component of this vector along this p so this is called means resolved part of this function this uh, vector along p dash p is called directional derivative if you want to find out the directional derivative along p the first thing is required to find out the unit vector along p so unit vector along p is this is so this is unit vector you need to multiply dot multiplication with del of f so multiply it with del of f so you will get the this is the directional derivative of f along p at this point so to find out the directional derivative you require first you require this point second thing is required you you require to find out the del f and third point you require to unit vector along p and fourth is dot multiply this two vector you will get directional derivative of that function suppose f is the function of x y z and uh, this is the point where you require to find out the directional derivative and this is the vector along which you are required to find out the directional derivative how will you find the directional derivative along this vector so if you require to find out the directional derivative first step is to find out the del f so del f is first you differentiate it with respect to x you will get 2x y cube z i plus differentiate it with respect to y you will get 3x square y square z j plus differentiate this with respect to z and you will get x square y cube k so this is the del f now the second step is to find out the unit vector along this direction about which you are required to find out the directional derivative so unit vector al along this vector is 1 by root over 4 square plus 3 square plus 2 square and 4i plus 3j plus 2k and directional derivative will be this dot multiplication of this so put value 1 1 1 and you will get the vector of del f at that point so if you put x y z 1 you will get del f as 2i plus 3j plus k so dot multiplication of it will be equal to dot multiplication of the two vector is 4 into 2 means 8 plus 3 into 3 9 plus 2 into 1 1 so 2 so this is the final value of directional derivative of f along this vector 
so the final answer is 29 by root over 29 so that's it for this video